So, what's behind a Spider-Man mask that makes it look like Spider-Man? It might be a little bit more than you think it is, and you might be surprised. Let's take a look. So, you might think that a Spider-Man mask is just how it looks in the movies. It's a mask with lenses attached that you put over your face. But how do I get this perfect Spider-Man shape? It's not like my face is perfectly shaped like Spider-Man, unless it is. You can't tell, but I just winked. What cosplayers use and what the actors in the movies actually use is something called face shells. A face shell is a hard plastic shell that goes underneath your fabric mask. It's not just one piece or one mask, it's actually a series of pieces. It technically breaks down into three pieces, the shell itself, the fabric mask, and the detachable lenses with magnets. The way it works is you put the shell on without the eyes. You then put the fabric mask over it, and then when it's all lined up, you put the lenses back on to get this perfect effect. I have lenses on too. Inside the shell is where it looks a little bit different. You can have some that don't have any sort of padding and that are flexible, or you could have some that are more rigid that have padding. It depends how the shell affects your face, how it fits on, and the way you want it to look. The style of shell is also representative of the style of Spider-Man you're going for. Obviously, all three of these masks are different. This is my Miles Morales shell, this is my Amazing shell, and this is my PS4 shell. They all look different. Behind a Spider-Man mask is a lot more than just a face. It actually is a lot of pieces that go together that make the mask look the way it does. You need the shell, you need the lenses, you need the magnets that attach it. Sometimes you might need a strap or elastic band, depending on if you want it. This mask, and the reason I wear this mask for every one of my videos, is because this is the one that is the most comfortable for me. I don't need padding because it fits my face pretty perfectly, and I don't need an elastic band because it perfectly wraps on with this mask. So, that's what I do for this, and that's what I do for all of my Spider-Man cosplays. So if you were looking into getting a Spider-Man mask and you didn't know why it looked the way it did, or maybe it doesn't look right on your face, look into a face shell, because that's what's behind the mask. 